we're gonna be trying a new thing today. Um, I'm gonna record a video so that you don't have to go in a different room to learn things today. Um, so let's see how it goes. First, I want you to get out your folder, which you probably already have. And I'm gonna try to set this up so that you can see my paper. this works. So open up your folder and the first thing that should be um, in your packet is this packet. So get that out and also make sure you have a pencil and a calculator and that should be all you need. Um, and you should have the red calculators or something that looks like this. Okay, so let me put my name and I have a whole bunch of pens in here right now so I'm trying to make sure you can see what I'm writing okay so last week we did a lot of things <laughs> I want the camera to fall um, we did a lot of things with adding and subtracting rational numbers um, and that was what your little quick check was on at the end of the week, um, which you'll see is graded in your folder if you want to take a look at that later. Um, so now we're going to be doing multiplying and dividing rational numbers, which I'm sure you guys have done before a little bit, um, but we're going to practice it and we're going to learn how to do it with and without our calculators. Um, so let's get started. The first thing this says is to review the product or quotient and product means multiplication. So I'll write a little multiplication sign there. And quotient means division. So the product is an answer to a multiplication problem. The quotient is the answer to a division problem. The product or quotient of two integers, and integers are just positive and negative numbers, with the same sign. So that means either they're both positive or they're both negative and in that case our answer is always going to be positive okay then the next thing says the product or quotient of two integers with different signs that's going to be negative So make sure you write that down. And you can pause this if you need to um, go a little bit slower. So we have some examples here. This says negative two times three. So we have a negative times a positive. That's the product of things with different signs. We have one's negative and one's positive. So our answer is going to be negative. Then here we have a negative divided by a negative, so our answer is going to be positive. And then we have a negative times a negative, that answer is also going to be positive because these have the same signs, they're both negative. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to type this in on your calculator, which you might already know. But looking at this first example that we said negative 2 times negative 3, on your calculator if you wanted to type that in, you would type in, here's the negative sign down here, negative 2 times 3, and don't really worry about those parentheses for right now, and then you press enter and you get negative 6, which is our answer. Now, if you wanted to type in those parentheses, those are right here. And you could type in negative two, and then close your parentheses, times three, and you'd still get negative six. So you can use your calculator if you want, or you can try to do this without a calculator. Um, let's try number one on here. It says negative four times five. I'm gonna use my calculator. 
negative 4 times 5 and I get negative 20. So I'm going to write that down. And that makes sense because negative 4 and positive 5, those have different signs. One's negative, one's positive. So when I type that in, it makes sense that I get a negative answer. Okay, so go ahead and finish the rest of this page by yourself. You can use your calculator or you can just use your own set of skills. Um, and after that, you will move on to the next thing. So hopefully this video went okay.